to do things and just play the game now. Since this is a full screen game, I will not be able to see any incoming chat, so you get to listen to me prattle and have no input whatsoever on what I say. But here we go. Thank you, Lim Clock, for getting this game for me. Uh, and here I go. All I remembered at that point was finding myself alone. Trying to press spacebar to make this game do anything and not having it work. Please work, game. I just got my microphone working. Oh, okay. Just click the arrow. I'm trying to do the keyboard, it's not working. Oh! Oh, my head! Where was I? It was so dark. There was something by my feet. A flashlight. A door. Oh, hey, cool. I can lift the light above my head. It's kind of cool, actually. So, that's not really a bed. It's kind of like bedding or blankets or something. So I don't know why I'm here. What's this brown stuff on the ground? Do I want to know? Aha. Uh -huh. Spacebar does do things. That house. Where was I? It was a dark and stormy night and there was a body lying on the floor. Who was it? It kind of has a silent film feel to it. And it's partly, I think, because a cat. I fucking hate cats. Good. Run away. Um, anyway, it has that silent film feeling partly because it has the. Let me see what's over here before I go in there. The little border on the thing. Next time I have a text thing, I will. Choices. Choices. Which way do I go? Try this one. I noticed that I limped as I moved down the stairs. How did I hurt my leg, I wondered. All I could really recall was coming home, seeing Rachel. I was upset. She looked afraid. I shook my head and tried to clear it. I knew I should head downstairs, try to find a way out. But what I want to do, for real, is go back upstairs and see what that other door holds. Because my guess that that was not the way to go was incorrect. I got water dripping off the ceiling here. I feel like I should point out that I'm not playing this in the dark because it's mid-afternoon and even with my curtains closed and the light off, there's still some light. But! Horror stuff can kind of freak- Ooh, what is this? Blood on the wall! It smelled fresh and sickening. I realized there was blood on my shoes and pants. Oh man, I had to get out of there. I have to leave! I can't stay in this place! Oh my god! Computer. The desk had a computer and some papers on it, and a single drawer. I didn't want to snoop, but... Did I open the drawer? You sure did! Receipts, pens, and a blurry photo. It looked like a store of some kind. Why did this look so familiar? What happens if I interact with it again? I really shouldn't have been going through this stuff. Getting my fingerprints everywhere. That's a really good point. Hole in the wall. I kind of like that little detail. I wonder how many doors I'm going to open before something horrible pops out the back side of it. Anyway, it's not that dark in here, and I'm okay with that, because horror has never been something I'm too good at dealing with. Had a lot of nightmares as a kid, and that's not really the case now, but still, uh, hey, more down. A thin gray mouse was stuck in a trap. It looked frantic but exhausted. Did I free it? No, because mice are pests. So I've got a door over here, and a stairway leading down, and that's back the way I came, and that's a bookshelf. The shelf was full of books on local history and hunting. It seemed like the owner of the house really knew the area. Another door. There's doors everywhere! I'm going to stay on this floor for now.
I oh you guys can't hear the sounds I'm getting. There's a creaky noise on the floor. Or like a, there was more of a creaky noise when I entered this room than there has been on the other stuff. An old dining table covered in dirty dishes for two people. There were dozens of beer cans and other liquor bottles among the dishes. The smell was turning my stomach. How long had this been here rotting? The man upstairs didn't look like he'd been dead a long time. Oh, this is what I was talking about. Totally break out of the mood here. The um the border on this I don't know how much you can see my mouse mouse moving. But the border on this text and like the monochromaticity of all of this kind of gives me an old timey silent movie feel, which is kind of appropriate because you know besides ambi there's you can't hear it, but there's no music in the background, it's just ambient noise. A black and white photo. Looked like the man upstairs and his wife, I guessed. There was no reason for me to keep this. Did I take it? Yes! I won't free mice, but I'll totally take pictures. I slipped the photos into my pocket. Maybe this would help me find some answers. I wonder if sometime I'm going to walk past this mouse and it's going to like bite my ankle. Or, did he just die? The mouse was dead. It looked like the cat had got to it. Huh. All right. Like, since you can lift up the light, I feel like that's going to be important at some point, and I kind of want to do it everywhere I go. A collection of rusty tools. These looked like they'd seen a lot of use and were caked in damp-smelling dirt. Why weren't they in a shed? A photo similar to the old one I picked up. It had been moved a lot. There seemed to be a switch behind it. Did I push the switch? Yeah, bring it. It depressed smoothly into the wall. I heard a faraway click somewhere. Now it's now it's all crooked and stuff. Faraway click. I think I'm gonna walk past the dead mouse and see if the click had anything to do with the dining room over here. It's, sorry, I just paused to look at that picture? Question mark on the wall? Looks more like a Game Boy screen. Click did nothing in here. Cool. Alright. Upstairs. Wasn't there a room that had, like, nothing happened? Let's go look. Oh no, this room had the computer in it. the blood in the corner. And the dead body in the room I woke up in. I wonder if maybe there's something going on in the room I woke up in. Let's check it out. If nothing, then I'll probably just stop backtracking so much. We shall see. Yep, nothing. Alright. Down and down and down. Up, up and down again. My favorite Sesame Street of all time, perhaps. That or the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Anyway, mirror, mirror on the wall. I looked like hell. My clothes were dirty and torn, and there was mud caked all over my shoes. Maybe I'm the one who's been using tools and not putting them in the shed. Had I been sleepwalking again? Was that how I got to that house? That doesn't explain the blood on my pants, though. Alright, same thing as last time. Door... The front door was blocked by a pile of furniture. I knew I had to find another way out. Okay, so I'm on the ground floor. I just heard a boom, like a door shutting sound. Okay, I don't have... I'm going to take off my headphones so you guys can hear what's going on. At least I think you can hear what's going on. I can't really hear what's going on now. Apparently they're pretty serious about having headphones. Alright, well I just heard a door shut. Um, this is successfully getting creepy.
There was a door I ignored over here. Shit. I'm gonna keep looking over here. The door was taped up and seemed to be stuck. But smell, I guess, it led to the kitchen. Why is the kitchen and the dining room on separate floors? I... That switch in the wall worked. The door had been unlocked. Fancy that! I knew the switch in the do door in the wall worked, and the door had been unlocked, even though I didn't know the door had been locked in the first place. Okay, this is clearly where I'm supposed to go. Well, I guess not clearly. It's- Oh, shit! The tape is gone. Fuck. I'm going back in there. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, my God! I don't know what that is. The box looked heavy, but there were marks on the floor. It had obviously been moved before. Maybe I had found a way out. Way out. I must have moved it, right? Yes. I heaved the box. box bleh. I heaved the box forward, and it finally gave. Now I'm missing a door on this floor here. Two, actually, because there's the the creepy, no longer taped up one, and then the one that wasn't creepy before and stuff. I'm gonna. I'm gonna Go down the ladder, though. There was a ladder going underground where the box was. A dank smell rose from the passage. Did I climb down the ladder? But what if there's something I need on this floor? Balls. Yep, screw it. I'm doing it. I looked again at the photo I found in the house. The couple looked distant, like they didn't want to be in the same picture. I wondered where the wife was. My leg was in terrible shape, but I had to get out. Those boxes would have allowed me to climb up the ladder again. But I didn't want to go back up there, not with that body, all that blood. I knew I needed to take a look around. Footprints in the dirt looked like more than one kind and a lot of traffic. Well, see, I accidentally, like, activated the ladder, but what I was actually trying to do was activate this stuff on the floor. Whatever this place was, it was obviously used a lot. Yeah, same thing. Places all over were marked on the old map of the town. The industrial area near the river, various houses, and even the old water tower near the old rail station. Newspaper clippings from the local paper. They were all about the murders in town over the last few years. Wait. There were photos photos of our house. What the hell was that about? Maybe I should have looked around more, tried to find some kind of information. Oh, Rachel, please be okay. I wanted to rush home, but I had to find a way out first, and I needed to see what else was down there. A work table covered in papers, dirt, and... a handgun. I hated guns. I didn't take it, did I? You did, because I don't hate handguns. I tucked the small handgun into my pocket. Its weight was somehow reassuring. Is that another ladder? It's another ladder. It was so dark down there, and the air smelled stale and putrid. I couldn't believe what I saw. What was this place? I don't know, because I can't see it yet. Okay. Is that another ladder downward? Hooks? Wait a minute. What's over here? The desk looked old and was caked with grime. On it was a stack of old, faded paper covered with what looked like names. They were scratched out, and illegible notes were written beside them in faded blue ink. I could only make out a few letters. I feel like I should write this down. There is something to write on. Here we go. So I have things to write with. Sorry, I'm making you wait and deal with it. One, two, three, four. And then we have one, two, I, V, dash, dash. Dash, 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 E, Y, dash, H, E, dash, dash, L, dash, R, dash, 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 A, P, H, dash, 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 O, L, dash, dash, capital R, O, Dash, dash, dash. Deek. None of it made any sense to me. Well, it doesn't make any sense to me either, buddy. Uh, that's the ladder I came up. I'm going this way. 
And the door.